The Steam Deck, absolutely amazing. Let's uh, go ahead and make a review. This is only going to take 30 seconds, and I'm going to summarize every review video on YouTube. 70% uh, of your library is going to work. Green check mark means it'll play great. Uh, exclamation means it probably will play with some caveats. And then unsupported most times won't work, but sometimes will, especially smaller titles that aren't tested. That's the games. Now let's go into the actual hardware. Hardware is amazing. RDNA 2, Valve is selling this at a loss. So you absolutely get your money's worth out of this device. And you can pretty much use it as a desktop. This whole review just takes a sharp turn. This is my setup. I have a full dock, HDMI plugged in. I'm even using a USB sound card with an optical out. And I actually have Logitech set up over here with some wireless keyboards. I went ahead and did Synergy so I could stream it in. And uh, I got a whole docking scenario so I can use this because it's as powerful, if not more powerful than most laptops on the market today which kind of is mind blowing. So let's get into this review. I would say Steam, every failed project they've had from Steam Machines, Steam OS, Steam Controller, all of it felt like a staging ground for this amazing device that is an absolute must buy in my opinion. So this is the Steam Deck desktop. You'll see I kind of have everything laid out here so you can see exactly what's going on. We have the Steam Deck, touchpad, buttons, grip controls are underneath, which we'll actually get into some gameplay once we get out of the desktop mode. But I want to showcase the docking. We have HDMI in, power in, gigabit through uh, the actual ethernet. We have a USB to a sound card so I can get digital optical in. So you're gonna hear some fantastic game sound uh, during this demo. And then we have a Logitech keyboard in case my Synergy cuts out, I can easily pull up a different uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, other things I've done to this operating system is I made it writable so I could remove Firefox, install Brave. I put Kitty on here for a terminal. I've switched over to Obsidian. I put Synology Drive in and uh, various other tweaks to basically improve performance a bit. I've also added some more gameplay such as Lutris, which you can do and you could add uh, various different things like MMOs that might not play very well on a controller. And if you have a dock set up, you can do that. And you can see this is pretty much my desktop. I'm using this as a very powerful laptop, basically. And I've been doing some benchmarks here, but you can see this new AMD RDNA 2, how it's performing. Now, this is my full-blown desktop machine with uh, a Vega 64, 32 gigs of RAM, just a crazy amount of stuff. And you can see the performance difference between these. It's about half, but it's kind of amazing that this right here is what I'm getting out of the, the Valve Jupiter. That is the Steam Deck. I'm getting amazing performance from it. This is a $500 unit. Look at that. 500 bucks, that's what you get. Valve is definitely losing their shirt by selling this system, and I guess they're just banking on you to buy in a bunch of Steam games. So that's the benchmarks I'm doing on it, but we can actually install some games today just using it like a regular desktop. And the one that pops to mind is probably like League of Legends. That's one game that has, you know, a lot of people want probably want to play on their Steam Deck. And you need to install this before doing it. Zenity and OpenSSL. Let's see if that's installed. And Zenity and Zenity Lite are in conflict. That's so it's already installed. And OpenSSL is also installed. Steam did a really good job with a lot of dependencies on most games. So, uh, I mean, this is such a great starting point for folks. All right. Home, Deck, League of Legends. That's great. Wine is not installed on the system. We'll just hit OK. It'll grab the GE version of this anyways, which is fine. But if we did want to just install Wine, we could just do yay s Wine staging is usually the one I go with. You can do regular Wine if you like. So this will install. You can see this is not a slow system by any means either. Like I am shocked by the performance of this thing. As I'm zipping around in here, I was like, dude, I cannot believe this is a $500 system. And just like that, it's installed. So we have that. Uh, it's going to download these league clients. Let's see what we get. We'll install mono. 
And 11 gigs. We'll install, see how long this takes. A lot of the attention to detail most people won't know if you haven't used Linux is much like the mouse cursor, a lot of the font themes, other things in here that honestly, Valve did such a good job with the base of this uh, hollow uh, Linux based distro, which honestly, that's what the Steam Deck is. It's a Linux distro that's optimized specifically for this hardware. Now, when it comes to League of Legends, I did have issues running through Lutris.net, but I went ahead and made my own custom launch script and then imported that into uh, Steam. So I actually, I, I put this, and uh, this is not correct, so don't do it this way, but I put this basically directly into my bin folder so I could launch this bash script no matter where I was at. And then I went into here and then added a non-Steam game League of Legends, and then that way I can just launch it directly from uh, this. I can also add controller profiles, so I could play this on the go, so to speak, uh, using only the Steam Deck. So I have the Steam Deck here running it. Obviously, it still need a lot of tweaking, but totally doable. Here's our startup. Come over here. We're going to grab League of Legends, click play. And this will launch in using nothing but the Steam Deck here. Uh, again, this is not a Steam Deck game. And the control scheme's wacky, to say the best, when it comes to putting it here. But you could map everything that you need from League of Legends to our controls here and the back grips on the controls. So as we load in, we'll go into a training exercise just so you can see the load times, how it, uh, how it fares. So we'll hit play. Um, we'll just do training, practice tool, and then confirm. And if the Steam Deck has millions of users, well, yeah, it's in Riot's best interest to make sure that we actually uh, <laughs> get proper functionality. They could easily put all this in and make it accessible through Linux. And, and as it's in Linux, uh, that would be on the Steam Deck. Right now, this is kind of a hacked together solution from the community. Uh, it's just something that is easily done through Steam, and it just needs a little more publisher support. But the load times are actually really good. Uh, I didn't really see anything ish issues here. Uh, let's see. It's been a while since I played League, so bear with me. Need to get the store. And we'll grab uh, Ember Knife and some Go Juice along with a Ward. Close. All right, there we go. And we'll start with red buff, I guess. Nah, blue buff for Vi. And then just kind of show you if there's any latency, that type of thing. We got right click that. Uh, and, oh, I don't have any. Uh, let's see, there we go, smite. And I don't think I have, uh, maybe I should have started E. I can't remember, it's been a while. But I thought that was really neat that you could do all these different things. Obviously, I should probably work with this control scheme if I was actually serious about playing League directly through the control pad. Or I could just switch over here and do it all through keyboard and mouse, which I'm obviously a little bit more familiar with. Let's go ahead and leave. It's a little strange when you go because of how I launched it through this script. I'll show that. Um, closes it out. You still have this Riot client open. Uh, but if you just click stop, that should uh, cancel the entire Riot client and the League Launcher. We'll close the League Launcher. All right, League Launcher is closed. And then from here, uh, it, if it doesn't exit that, you can always hit stop to stop the Riot client. And that is League of Legends basically through a Steam Deck. So one thing I also wanted to showcase was the custom controls. Now, Warframe as a game is limited compatibility with the Steam Deck, but still works pretty well. And its control scheme is really where this shines. Like the back grip buttons, I went ahead and set to this right here. Also, I'm doing a top-down shot so you can see exactly what you get on the hardware itself instead of doing the screen capture. I like to show both. So let's go ahead and launch Warframe and you can kind of get a gist of the controls and also gyro you can actually steer by looking and the idea with this control scheme is my thumbs will never leave the thumbsticks uh, after i launch the game so right here warframe has a little bug on linux whenever you launch it it'll be downloading content but you'll never show the progress bar and then it'll just say play so then you just tap play and go 
I'll probably just do Orb Volus. Find like one, two, three, four for the special abilities over here. Uh, everything else, the traditional ones, are on the back side. And then as long as my right thumb is on there, I can turn with the gyro, but if it's off, it doesn't turn. So really, really intuitive, uh, very impressive control scheme here. I cannot believe how well this is done, and I can just do bullet jumps so easily. And I actually like playing this game better on my Steam Deck than I do on the actual PC, because I really, really dig its control style and how versatile it is. So this is just the fourth day I've had this. That's it, four days, I've already discovered all this. So don't think there's not gonna be more to be found in the Steam Deck. I just wanted to show all these different facets of things that I really wish other people have shown. And I watched no less than 10 different, you know, Steam Deck review videos, all which I thought were kind of lacking and made by uh, uh, not really exploring what it has to offer. So let me know what you want to see down below because I've piped an external card to it, uh, just the whole nine yards here, but there's still so much more to do. And I've or started ordering a bunch more parts just to tinker with all the possibilities that this offers because this is a desktop PC in the palm of your hand. And if you're at least a little bit interested in this, go buy it. Uh, it has my 110% endorsement. I thought it was just going to be a pile of crap, but... Valve, I think, honestly, when it came to Steam Machines, Steam Controller, Steam Link, all these different things that they failed at over the past 10 years, it's like they were setting it all up for this one thing. And that's why they did those things, just so they could get this right. And wow, absolutely amazed by it. So again, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one.